My name is Josh, I'm a sophomore. I'm Kirsten and I'm a junior. My name is Kira Cobbs and I'm a junior. My name's Anna Marie Castro and I'm a freshman. And we're from Omaha South. <laughs> <laughs> to the girl no one talks to. Shouting letters, but she can't find the words. Words. Running the same endless route lost. Lost. She doesn't see the signs. Signs. Cussing, spinning actions she won't taste. Taste. Whispering a melody she doesn't want to hear. Listen. These words I've bundled up in a basket for you, with edges of the blanket tucked, wondering who nipped them. Every action and vowel I've ever wanted to express to you, with a death-like aching song that floats rhythmically in stiff air. There's a beautiful song singing every moment you are silent. Notes tumbling down your body. Wake up from this coma, this dream, this sleep, or whatever you're deep into. I'd pinch your skin, but I'm slightly afraid it might crack and leave evidence crumbling in the guilty crevices of my fingers. See, in my nails lie a foul burden. Don't we have enough blood stapled to our feet? How many... Uh, how much fuller can our eyes get with pointless aggression? How many masks does it take before you eventually fade away? away? Away to the point where really no one notices you. Something about those brick headphones flexible for you when you can't take the laughing or others crying. They, the way they stick them between your ears as they scream. Let, Let me, me in, in before, before the, the silence, silence melts you. you. Walking down the hallway, turning your head to avoid faces. Faces that ignore you in a damp, hollow classroom when your body's in a desk weeping. Shh. Maybe she's just sleeping. When she's over the toilet on all fours, clearing her stomach of all the rude comments. Dirty looks. All the stress. Fingers suctioned against broken tile, deciding which Pink, color to change green, into. Purple, blue. Help me. In her grunts. I hate you. As she inhales. Walking back to the classroom like nothing ever happened. My mouth doesn't open, eyes only twitching. Billions of people in this world, and I never would have guessed that my own brother got through every day with 100% air in his body. Maybe if I'd have listened to his lucid stories or fell asleep next to him, actually listening to him talk to a breathless ceiling until one day his skin couldn't take it and I peeped through brother's room to see a, a rope hugging his neck and the ceiling and his feet dangling silently. With every action and vow I've ever wanted to express to him, and a death-like aching song that floats rhythmically in stiff air. A beautiful song sings ever since he went silent. Walking down the hallway, a gray in her eyes, no. a blue in her face. No. I would help you, but... Maybe I'm wrong about you. It's not my problem. It's not my business. Until I watch her body, same weight as my brother's, leap over the staircase. Girl in the bathroom. Find the words. Girl in the hallway. Look at the signs. Girl, I want to know. Listen to the melody. I, I would help, help you, but... but... Don't let it be too late. Don't let it be too late. Don't, Don't let, let it be too late. Don't we have enough blood on our hands questioning the hatred we carry? <laughs>